So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. We're going to be going over the uh, the update. That's right, version 2.2 is now out and about and we've got a chance to play it. I got a chance to play it. We all have on trial mode, right? So what I'm going to do is just talk about it. That's what we're going to talk about, folks. So this is one of the new stadiums, by the way, the U Power, uh, which is part of Monza, as you can see. It looks nice. It does. I mean, I still, there's so much work that needs to be done, honestly. I'm going to talk about that as well. Uh, but at least they're adding some stuff, right? So we've got this one here. This is no, uh, this was the Norway-Sweden match that I did. Then I have another match that I did, which I think was England-Argentina. I'm just going to run them, right, and, and go through it. We're actually going to run the England-Argentina match Hello, first. Because, well, I don't know, to be honest, why. But we're just going to roll with it. Have a look at the players, see what they're all about. Now, the interesting thing about this update, more than more than anything else that I've ever done, and I'm sorry if I'm, I'm a bit bright and everything, but it's dark outside. The lighting in this room is a bit pants. But the interesting thing about this time around of, of playing the update is I've been playing FIFA a lot, right? You guys know this. In fact, my last, I mean, I, I went look, I look back uh, over the last month as we've got a little bit of international National Anthem's going. I'm not going to worry about them. But I will say, like, there's elements, like, with, with the whole, like, Unreal Engine. Like, Romario looks... Or Romario, whoever that is. What's his name? The Tottenham guy. He looks fantastic, right? His face actually looks a lot more real. I mean, that looks like a genuine real-life face. Uh, and then there's other players that don't look quite as good. So... It's very much like FIFA. There's a mixed bag. Some faces far more superior than others. I mean, you know, Martinez there, pretty decent, to be honest. It was far better than FIFA's. Uh, FIFA has updated theirs. So it's like some of the faces are top quality, and then some are a little bit meh. Uh, if you have a look at England as well, sort of going through there, you know, Sterling looks the part. I mean, Saka, all right, could maybe do a little bit of work. Uh, then, of course, you've got the likes of uh, Declan Rice as well, looking pretty solid. Henderson looks decent. Uh, Luke Shaw with the short hair. I mean, Alexander-Arnold had an update not while, well, a little bit of a while ago now. So he's got the, 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 the dreadlocks. Uh, Pickford looks like a school child. Uh, and then you've got Harry Kane. Yeah, Harry Kane. Uh, as well. So, yeah, you know, graphically up and down, left, right, centre, whoopity-dippity-doo. So what we're going to do now... Uh, yeah, Pickford was asleep. No, I was going through a couple of faces once again, just kind of showing you um, that, I, you know, the potential when we finally get some sort of an Unreal Engine 5 upgrade. I don't know when that will be. Uh, when you guys are watching this, by the way, I will be flying to the LA. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, like I said, some faces great, some not as good like there. Fantastic. Looks uh, Romero. There you go. Looks different class. Martinez, pretty solid as well. Um, so yeah, you've got, I mean, even there, Mark, that, that does look a lot better than something like Pez 21. And that's why they have transitioned over the engine, because yeah, the Fox engine was kind of on its last legs. Anyway, all right, let's get into the actual gameplay now uh, and talk about this. I'm sorry it's not the best quality I'm recording. See, I sit down at night and I play this and I just record it and I didn't do it in HDR this time because the last time I did that... Um, Look at that bit of play there. Straight off the bat, look at that. Look at this. Step over, and he skipped past me. And this is one thing I'm going to talk about. Look at that. <whistles> when would you ever get an AI actually take you on on PES 21? I swear you wouldn't. Um, so, yeah, I do have a lot of positive things to say about this update right now. But this is trial mode. Remember that. Uh, and also remember that I hadn't played... Uh, e football in a little bit of time before I booted the game up, so the defending was a little bit rusty. Honestly, I forgot the controls for uh, a split second. But yeah, there's certainly and once again, look at that. This is the things, and I actually went back and I and I and I looked at that. Once look at this, Sterling gets the ball, skips it, Pal Romero says, "See you later," and that is what I love to see, folks, especially offline right people online can do that all day offline no against the cpu you want to see it so there's going to be there's, this this video is going to be all over the place because there are parts that i went back and looked at uh there's a few times where the, the players were dribbling slightly different or i saw some what of a different animation animations for me is what i'm worried about okay because once the animations start 
becoming newer and fresher and more refined on this game, then we're going to start seeing new things. This, if they're going to keep using the same recycled stuff, like the goalies, by the way, the goalies are still using the same tripe pants animations that we've always seen. I don't know what happened here. Did I fall asleep? Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be the same boringness. We don't want that, right? Animations need, need to be implemented correctly. I don't know what happened here. I fell asleep. Now, comparing this honestly to FIFA, the one thing that I like, like that, the goalkeeping, it just looks so bad. Please, Konami, do something with the goalies. I mean, look at it. He just, if you look at the keeper's feet, and, and if you slow this down, it will look really bad. No, that's, not, that's, that's the wrong one. If you put this to like 0.5, right? A little bit slower. Just watch the goalie jump. It just looks too... It's, it's like he's on a trampoline still, and they've never, ever addressed this problem. I thought they had initially when eFootball was coming out. We looked at the penalties, and we're like, ooh, the goalies are no longer jumping a mile that way. No, no, no. All they done was they toned down the radius as to how far the goalie could dive. He was still using the exact same animation. That, had, that was all that had happened. So... Please, Konami, you've got to work on the goalies, mo-capping. Mo-capping is massive, right? You've, 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 you've got to implement that. Otherwise, this game will become stale because of that fact. Um, but let's get back to it. So the thing I will say right here, you are seeing constantly the AI against me were crossing the ball. Fantastic. Playing FIFA over the last month. We all know the problem, right? The players get down the flanks. They do absolutely nothing with the ball. And then they try and work it in. And uh, it's just the same shenanigans. Yeah, I'm going to try a few things in these gameplay videos. So, you know, it might look a little bit pants to start with. Uh, also, I'm playing on manual, as you can see. It's a full manual game. I really think the way to play these matches offline, if you are going to play offline, even online if you want a real challenge, just turn off the assist. It's just such a more better experience. It's, it's a lot harder to play manual, I will say, actually, on eFootball than FIFA. I'm actually finding FIFA easier, uh, which is mad to say. But... It's still a really good way to play the game. Uh, just try and play some football. Knock it about. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed the AI. They're very... I don't know. The matches I played, and I played a good four and five, but they were relentless. They kept attacking me, and it didn't matter who I was. So we got a Norway and Sweden match. Even the Swedish whipping some balls in, you know? And uh, I, I really think they've, they've certainly worked on, on the AI. Right, this was another thing that I saw, and I thought this was kind of cool. I don't know if this is new or not, but the way he took that touch, you see the way he kind of, it's its very flowy. Is that a word? We'll take it. But it's very natural. Look at this. He takes the touch inside, and that little animation there looks far more natural and realistic than some robotic turn that we've seen before. So these are the things, Konami. Keep working on them, all right? Keep improving the animations. I'm telling you. Animations in a sports tile is everything. Look at NBA 2K, right? Those types of games are so fluid and natural because of the way the players move. And I looked at this for about a fortnight. So, um, yeah, just if we actually look at this in real time, because you probably won't notice it here. We'll look at it again right here, right? So here, pass it up the line. Just the way he took that little touch. You saw it. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. It needs to flow a little bit better because when Henderson picks it up here, you can see it kind of, yeah, it, it, uh, when he, well, no, maybe it looks all right. I don't think it looks terrible. I think it looks pretty solid. Um, so, yeah, that's the type of stuff I'm going to show you guys because if I see it and I notice it, whether it's new or not, I don't know. You guys let me know if you've seen things like that. But those are the things I like to see. Uh, but overall, folks, I will say version 2.2 from what I played. Remember, it is offline. Offline, always better than online, right? Because everything's responsive. Everything's snappy. There is the manual shooting. My manual shooting, woeful. Although I did bang one in with Haaland, and we'll look at that afterwards. Uh, but overall, yeah, offline, responsive, doing what you ask it to do. Yes, there are still problems. I'm not going to say the game's perfect. It's far from it. Uh, once again, though, you saw Saka there doing some actual skill moves. Watch, a step over. Brilliant. I, I don't know. I don't know what they've done to the AI, but they're making them do more skill moves. And look, look at Alexander-Arnold just continually bombing it forward. There's no stop-start animations. Look at Trent here. Cuts inside, and he's off. When have I ever seen the AI do stuff like that? Then he puts in a lovely ball, and then it comes off the old crossbar. 
But I was really impressed that the AI were just attacking. Now, I will say there is a negative side to this because I, I would like the AI to do a little bit more of possession. I didn't see enough of that. I thought everything was very direct, direct. Um, so it was all very quick, quick, quick. The tempo does seem quite fast um, at times. Whether they've, I know they've sped up the passing, so that's probably what's, what's going to happen. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, if you're going to speed up the passing, but that in turn is going to make everything else be a little bit smoother. I mean, Carl Walker, they're a little bit pants with the pass, but you know what happened there was I was cutting out all the angles. Um, so I thought, you know what, let's shut down what we can. I mean, right now he should probably just start again, right? And he's decided to play a, a ridiculous pass there to Di Maria uh, instead. And then Mr. Harry picks it up. Let's see what he does. Once again, I'm trying to just close down the angles and see what the AI do with the brains, right? Here we go. Carl Walker wanted to start again. We'll close him down uh, and go from there. Look, the old ball boy. We'll, we'll grab that ball, son. No, the ball's disappeared. Unbelievable, Jeff. So they're starting again, working it around. By the way, I'm playing on stadium cam. Uh, for those wondering, I kind of zoomed it in a little bit. I don't like to be too far out of the action. I feel like I defend better when I'm actually closer to the action. Uh, so here is Saka. Look at that. Once again, cutting inside. A bit of purpose. Good challenge there by uh, Rodriguez. And away we go again with uh, Paredes finding uh, Depaul. Got Messi to the right of him. Here he is. I mean, when you get it with Messi, you've got a dribble. Sometimes, though, it was like, the sh you know, the shielding, right? When you shield the ball. I don't know. Sometimes it seems to work and sometimes it doesn't. You know, even Messi should still be able to hold up a ball. I know he's only small, right? But Messi has some of the best center of gravity around. So, yeah, things like that do need to be refined a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, another poor pass for myself. But this was actually, a, I thought, a good match. Back and forth. I didn't really have any chances myself. Arsenal were very good. Once again, Saka doing some moves, trying some tricks. Uh, here goes Di Maria now. I mean, Carl Walker has got some speed, so he was able to catch me up. But we just about got there in time. Whipped in uh, a bit of a looping pass. Comes back to Paredes. Deflection. Uh, and Pickford picks that one up. Right, I'm going to move this forward. I don't know if there's any goals in this, but I know there was goals in the other match. So I definitely want to give you guys some goals to see. Uh, so here was a chance, apparently, with Mr. Harry Kane. Right, so Saka gets the ball down the line, finding Alexander-Arnold. Once again, does he hesitate to cross? No, opens up some space, and there it is, and that was a good save from the goalie. But this is what I... I will say, when you, when you go and play FIFA, like I said, and then you come back to eFootball, and you really notice the difference between the two games, like even the AI. Like, FIFA's... The AI is all over the place in FIFA, you know, especially down the line when they don't want to whip the crosses in. But in me football, you don't have to worry about it. They just do it. They see a chance to cross it. They cross it. That shot was a bit horrendous, uh, but there you go. Right, now we've got to move over. We've got to do this. We're going to show the Norway to the Sweden match. There was actually four goals in this one. One of them, I was being an idiot. I kind of gave them a goal, uh, but I thought I'd play with the lesser teams. I don't know, about a four star. You've still got Haaland. Odegaard's there. Uh, I think Zlatan was on the bench. But you still got the likes of uh, Lindelof at the back and obviously a couple of other Swedish and Norwegian players in there. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead uh, and just kick this off. And uh, here we go, playing in the new stadium, the U-Power Stadium, uh, as we are going to knock the ball around willy-nilly. Once again, full manual, folks. If you don't play on manual, give it a bash. It's really the way to play these games nowadays. But watch this. This is a new little thing I liked. It was the... Once again, if we're talking about FIFA, and I'm always going to compare it to FIFA, I was looking at the clipping here, right? I'm talking about if this happened on FIFA, the player's legs would be all over the place. They would. But I didn't notice too many problems with this... And I mean, eFootball, right? A little back flick here. I mean, sometimes this does look a little bit weird. But the way the player falls down, right? The ball does kind of go through his foot initially. But the collisions... You know, you, look, you talk about a year ago. This would have been an absolute shambles, folks. Players' legs going through the floor. Balls going all over the place. Eyeballs in the legs. I don't know. It's just a complete mess. But you can see the difference, right? The ball is its separate entity there. As they came together, they collided together. And the way he falls down, 
it looks very natural. I mean, I don't think you can have too many complaints apart from here, right? When the ball does go through his foot. You know, have a look at it right here. So the ball kind of goes through the foot, but then the way they just, you know, he clips him, ricochets off his shin, and then he falls forward. There's no, there's no like body parts going through each other. I was actually quite impressed with that. So that's the things. That's the things I keep looking for. Are they improving this stuff? Because if they don't, once again, there's no progression uh, in this game. So let's just watch a little bit of uh, a bit of gameplay. Uh, and of course, let me know in the comments below about you guys. Have you been enjoying it? Do you, do you notice these things as well yourself? I mean, if this was online, it would be fantastic. But unfortunately, offline versus online, you're looking at two totally different games. Even when the servers are online and you're playing trial match, it might feel a little bit different, you know? So this is ultimately the best experience you're going to get when the servers are offline and everything's fine. Look at the passing there by myself. Absolutely woeful again. Um, here was a chance for him, but some good defending by Michel. I mean, I don't know what I was doing at the back there. Blimey, it's like watching Man United of the old defending and a nice little throw off the way to, <laughs> to Pedersen. But yeah, manual on eFootball is definitely harder than it is uh, on Pez 21 because Pez 21, I felt there was a little bit more guidance doesn't seem that way on eFootball. Um, they've, they've certainly toned that down. They're trying to take the ball up the line. It was a good piece of defending. Uh, and away Sweden go once again. When I do go to LA, I will, I will mention, you know, a few things because I am primarily an offline guy. That's what I enjoy, right? So I will focus more on the AI and I will tell them, look, I want you guys to work on how the AI play, how they possess, how they work it around. I will say on FIFA this year, and look at that lovely switch, and there's just this little move here. Just get it out the feet. I pressed L2 there for some reason. That's why he did the whole, the shimmy, the old Michael Jackson thriller move. Uh, but just testing out the old stunning shot. The physics as well, I think they've had a little bit of a tweak. Um, but as I was saying, FIFA actually does have decent build-up play this year, I will say, with the AI. I've seen them work the ball quite well. They take their time, especially when you slow the game down. Um... Whereas on eFootball, I do feel like sometimes it's it's very fast. You know, it's from front to back, front to back, front to back. It doesn't always have to be that way because, you know, football's different. There was Haaland with a chance who does score. Oh, yes, Haaland is going to be on the score sheet in this match, so don't you worry. Uh, things like that, though, still there. You know, the whole when they kind of collide. I know he kind of falls down. But all that's happened here is in, he's in a pre-canned animation and he can't really get out of it. And then by the time he gets up, yeah, it, it just look, looks a bit odd. So that kind of, those little annoyances need to be, you know, s just smoothed out a little bit. Stuff like that happening as well. So, yeah, as I said, this game is far from perfect. But I will say positive notes from the way that AI have played. Getting the ball down the flanks, whipping them in, doing skill moves as well. Playing with a bit of purpose. Always a positive. Right, here we go. El Unice. Plays it into the Haaland, but of course he's offside. Debatable offside this, to be honest. Is this offside? Is that off? I mean, his hand is in line with him. I mean, maybe his ponytail. But his ponytail's back there. So yeah, I don't know. That was an odd one. Right, we're going to get to some goals, folks. We are going to get to some goals. I think we have a... Oh yes, here we go. Of course. Right. You know what? We'll let this play out just from here, right? So... Now, USA, that's not how you say his name. But he whipped the ball in, comes back to um, Pedersen. Trying to just whip some crosses in. Right, went out for a corner. Right, this is what we do. Yep, we play a short one on the edge of the box. Took me time and uh, just got caught there. It was a foul. It was very minute, very minute contact. But, you know, there's enough there, isn't there? There's enough there to warrant a foul as he tries to get past him. And uh, there we go. Right, so what happens? Well, you guys know the outcome. It's still far too easy, folks, um, to do this. Bang. Back of the net. Now, regarding the net physics, where have they gone? I will mention this as well, because they are horrendous. I know they're not, they're not a priority. I understand this. But come on, have a little bit of life in the nets. You know, they, they barely move. You know what I mean? And I think we are spoilt by FIFA's now because their net physics, their sound physics are unbelievable. Just just mad. So there we go. We banged in a goal. Um, did I concede right back? I may have conceded right back because that's what I love to do. I'm going to go forward a little bit. 
Uh, I think I did. No, you know what happened? I, you know what happened? There was the most ridiculous goal that I gave away, and I can't remember what I did. Oh, here we go. I was switching off. I, I want to see this again because I can't remember what happened. This was bad, right? So, Ekdal picks it up. Yeah, that was the shot. Fair enough, right? It goes wide. Bob's your uncle. We're going to give this a good hiding. Get this one out wide. Two added minutes There's two added indicated. minutes, right? So, Kulusevsky makes the foul. I switched this round the other way. Pedersen. Don't know who that was to. Anyway, Strandberg gets it up the line. Augustinson. Long ball forward. Izek. Lovely little touch. Right, here we go. Watch this. So that is a problem because I can't remember if I asked. I mean, surely when you pass it back to the goalie here, that's got to change to the keeper. But I can't remember if I messed up and I pressed another control to mess up myself. I don't know if I super cancelled it. So I don't know if that was technically the game's fault or my fault. It looks bad, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, things like that. If that was, if that was down to the goalie not having a brain and the game just not switching in time, of course, that's a big worry there. That needs to be addressed. But I'm sure it was my own doing of being a plum. All right, let's move on now. We're going to move into the second half. Uh, we do have... I thought I scored a decent goal as well. So we're going to see another goal happening very shortly. Um... But yeah, overall, folks, I will say it was decent. It was decent. And this is why I keep mentioning that you give this a year or so. And I do think Master League will be good fun. As long as they keep working on the AI, right? You have to. Right, so watch this. A nice switch pass, I think. No, that wasn't the goal. I thought that was the goal coming up. Never mind. All right, here we go. Haaland. Well, with Haaland, I kind of wanted to, to use, you know, what he's good at, which is his strength. Uh, he was Odegaard. But yeah, you can see people just getting involved. Closing you down, not giving you a time of day. Right, where's the goal? We've got to find the goal, folks. Here it is. All right, we're going we're gonna to push this forward a little bit more. I don't want this video being uh, super, super long. But generally, when I start talking, you know, I'm off. I'm off. Blabbering away. Right, so ball up the line. Strandsburg, can he keep it alive? He can, but a good challenge there by Strandsburg. Oh, that was actually Forsberg. Too many Bergs. So, a long ball forward. Flicked on. Here we go, Harlan. Now, this is very Harland-esque here. You're using the pace, using the power. Brilliant play. Squares it. Probably should have took a touch here. And, uh, yeah, just unable to put it in the back of the net. But what I liked about that move was just Harland being Harland, right? A powerful, quick, accelerative player. Uh, and did the business, but yeah, good save from the goalie there. Taking place. Oh, you know what? The goal I scored with Haaland afterwards, I didn't record it. Oh, well, but you will see this one. So check this out. We whip this in. Haaland, and look at that for a looper. Wehe hey! And yeah, I did score another goal in extra time, but I stopped recording, unfortunately. Uh, but it was actually a pretty decent goal, to be honest. I played a long ball. The Haaland picked it up and then he did a low driven shot with the old right peg and I did actually score a manual finish. So, you know, there we go. But yeah, that was a good header. I still still hate the replays in this game. Please make them more lifelike, Konami. I mean, what is this for a replay? Why do I want to look at a replay behind a net? But not only once, they show you the exact same replay a second time. You're showing me behind the net again. I don't want to see it. Right, and then what happened straight after this? Just watch this, folks. <sighs> Me switching off, being a buffoon. Um, I, I don't know. I was trying out a few things, like defensively. I was trying out, you know, match up as well as sort of um, pressing and shoulder barge. So I don't know what I was doing here. I was trying to dribble, just being a complete plum, and I gave him a go. So, yes. Those, those types of things, you can't even critique the game. That's just me being a muppet. I should have cleared it. I didn't. I paid the price. Uh, and there we go. Yeah, but overall, folks, keep saying it. I think it, it was it was a good playthrough. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it probably as much as I did. Or at least see the AI playing very dynamic, very direct. Maybe too direct at times. As I say, I'd like them to work it round a little bit more and play a bit of possession when you can. I mean, stuff like that. Players need to know when they need to leave the ball. 
Uh, but you saw at the beginning Sterling taking players on, doing step overs. Once again, I'm just I was trying things out, being a muppet at times. So yeah, ignore that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts below. It's certainly in the right direction, you know, and we'll keep we'll keep looking at the game. We'll keep analyzing it, critiquing it. They just need to work on, for me, the AI animations need to start being improved, though. The goalkeeping animations are far too samey, and we're still seeing the same animations that we saw like five years ago, even seven, eight years ago in a Pez game. And that's not really acceptable, to be honest. Uh, but the ebb and flow there, I mean, as long as the players react to the ball that's what you want none of this stop start stop start nonsense just the ball is, is an, a, 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 you know an, an individual entity I mean words are mixed up then they have to react to the ball because if they don't that's when the issues start to arise uh, but yeah overall I had good fun with it and let me know your thoughts below yeah we had no more goals in this one it did finish 2-2 then we went into extra time I actually finished 3-3 I think the game was insane uh, so this was a good you know a good fun match back and forth uh, and the uh, the camera is stadium cam if you guys are wondering but I've zoomed it in a little bit um, to, to close in the action anyway I will see you guys over the weekend maybe Sunday will stream I don't know but I'm going to be away Thursday, Friday, back Saturday, then uh, Kayla's birthday's coming up, so we're going out for dinner. So, you know, we'll be back when we can. But anyway, we will start putting out more eFootball content. Don't worry, right? FIFA Career Mode will continue, but eFootball will start becoming more on my channel because, you know, it's still ultimately the gameplay I enjoy more um, and the stuff you guys prefer. Not all of you, some of you. And we've got to keep you guys happy. Let's see if we can... Oh, yeah, this was a chance right at the end here with Haaland. Can he do the business? No, because he was stumbling all over the place and uh, he just didn't have the ability. But anyway, we'll be back shortly. Till next time, subscribe for more. Let me know your thoughts. Take care.